स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया so let us look at well i can quickly see that this particular constraint can be reduced to our standard set of natural boundary condition notice that in the special case in the special case uh, if we if we allow our uh, sum of our variables to zero let me call that there is no the the point at 1 at the right hand side boundary is completely fixed and also the y coordinate is not varying so which means that only the x coordinate on the left hand side is varying in that case my my additional constraint reduces to x not times the hamiltonian which is f minus y prime del y del y prime at x not and this is set equal to 0 right so this is the value that we set and we see that this is nothing but our natural boundary condition if if my uh, end point at the left hand side for the x coordinate end point is not fixed so we we recover our natural boundary condition in this special case okay so let me let me now uh, uh, discuss this general case a little bit more so in general the 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 general variable uh, boundary point condition is going to satisfy the general end point uh, end point condition condition satisfy satisfy uh, constraints of the form which is non holonomic constraints of the form uh, constraints of the form this x not g of x not y not x1 y1 well x1 y1 is equal to 0 and this is in general a non holonomic constraint right non holonomic constraint and often these constraints may reduce to a single end point constraints so what i am saying is often they uh, these constraints constraints could reduce uh, could could separate separate we are going to look at this uh, this discussion with an example this uh, and this constraint separate to single end point constraints end point constraints constraints to see that the constraints we get is gk of xj yj is equal to 0 if j is 0 comma 1 so these are my single end point constraints and uh, example well the simplest example in this criteria is the fixed end point problem right so for example if i have fixed end points if i have fixed end points problems i can let me say that xi comma yi is equal to is is specified right is so i from 0 and 1 is specified right the so fixed end point problems xi yi's are specified okay so if the end point variations of x not y not are not linked to the end point variations of x1 y1 so in general in general well these are the different cases i am trying to highlight we will look at examples for each of these cases so in general uh, the end point the end point variations when i say end point variations i am talking about uh, delta x and delta y right the end point variations at x not y not are not related related to the end point variations uh, at x1 
y1. So, in that case we will have set of two endpoint criteria uh, which are completely independent of each other. So, in that case we have the condition p delta x minus h delta y this is to be satisfied at x naught and p delta x minus h delta y satisfied at x 1 and these are two separate criteria, two separate criteria. Okay. Okay. So, so since, so, so if that is the case, since, uh, since delta y and delta x they are independent and arbitrary at each end point, we could certainly have that uh, p and h they are equal to 0 at each end point, right. So, which means, okay. So, let us look at some special cases of these criteria. So, what I am trying to say is, let us look at some special case, special, uh, so, so special case, cases, right. So, special cases of the fact that first case is we fix, we fix our x, right. We do not allow the x coordinate to vary, right. So, in that case my delta x is 0 and delta y is non-zero. So, if that is the case, then my, my momentum defined at x i which is del f del x i. Notice why, why we are taking the momentum because p is the co coefficient of delta x. So, delta x is so, so we have that, well, we have made a mistake here, uh, this is going to be delta y, p delta y, right. Let us see whether we have the, the same con condition or not, p delta y minus h delta x. So, so here is a small mistake here, this is h delta x, okay. So, so in the first case, if delta x is 0, but delta y is not 0, but the, the linear combination is 0 that is only possible when the coefficient of delta y is 0. So, if delta y is not 0, then the coefficient which is p of x i, the derivative of f at the primed value at x i is 0, right. So, these are, so this is for i equal to 0 and 1. So, these are my natural boundary condition, right, natural boundary condition. Similarly, if we can fix my variable y, if we can fix my variable y, I see that delta x is not 0 and of course, de variable y is fixed, so delta y is 0. If delta x is not 0, which means that the coefficient of delta x, which is h of x i, which is going to be y prime p minus f evaluated at x i, this is set equal to 0 uh, at the end points, i equal to 0 and 1 right okay so we are going to see that although we have completely described these variable endpoint uh, functionals the extremal of these variable endpoint functionals but in many cases uh, the endpoint criteria pose severe restriction on the extremal that is generated as a solution to the euler lagrange equation so what I just said is that our endpoint criteria that we have found, endpoint conditions, they pose additional, sometimes very limiting restrictions, additional restrictions on y. Generally, generally incompatible, incompatible. Uh, with my Euler Lagrange equations, right. So, generally pose additional restrictions on y, generally incompatible with Euler Lagrange equations. So, let me look at an example, right. So, suppose, suppose j of y is equal to integral from x naught to x 1, f of x comma y comma y prime d x, right, where where my f does not depend on x explicitly, right, where my, I am looking at a specific class of functional. I allow my f such that f does not 
depend depend on x explicitly and students are familiar that the optimization of this class of functional will lead to the Beltrami identity setting that identity equal to a constant. So, which means which means uh, let me call this relation as a using the Beltrami identity I get that h which is y prime p minus f is equal to a constant. So, that is the reduced Euler Lagrange equation. Now, also our end point criteria says that we have a fixed x right. So, we have suppose we also impose that we have a fixed y. So, so what have we got is uh, so for for the case if we have fixed y we have fixed y uh, at the end points that is delta delta y is 0. So, fixed y at the end points or delta y is 0, then these leads to our reduced bound end point condition that that h at x i is 0. So, I get the end point condition to be the the Beltrami function h of x i equal to 0. So, which means from from a and b I see that the solution to the Euler Lagrange is such that the Beltrami function is identically equal to 0 for all x y right because it is 0 at 1 x or at 2 at x which is at x 0 and x 1. So, it must be 0 for all x right. So, which means from from my Euler Lagrange and from my end point criteria I see that h is identically 0 for all x in the interval x 0 to x 1 right. So, or I see that the Euler Lagrange re equation reduces to partial f partial y prime is equal to f right. From here I see that my f of y comma y prime is equal to if I integrate this relation I see that this is equal to a y times y prime which means that uh, this class of functional with variable endpoints such that the y coordinate is fixed can only be solved if the the integrand of this functional is linear in y prime right. So, we could only get a solution for this fixed form fixed form of f otherwise we will not get the solution right. So, let us look at uh, a proper example in this uh, discussion. So, we want to we want to extremize we want to extremize our functional j of y which is integral 0 to x 1 1 plus y prime square uh, d x. We want to extremize this such that one of the end point is fixed and the other end point is also fixed such that it is only its y coordinate is fixed, but x coordinate is not we do not know x 1. So, x 1 x 1 is unspecified right x 1 is unspecified and again we see that this function is independent independent of x. So, we to find the extremal we can right away use the Beltrami identity ok. So, which means that uh, that uh, that my Beltrami function h of y comma y prime which is y prime partial f partial y prime minus f must be a constant right. Now, we plug plug f f is 1 plus y prime square I see that this is going to give me y prime times 2 y prime minus uh, minus f which is 1 plus y prime square which is also equal to y prime square minus 1 this is also equal to a constant. So, that is my reduced Euler Lagrange equation, but also note that since since my delta y is 0, but delta x is not delta x is not 0 that is 
the variation of the boundary point are such that only the x component is varied, but y is fixed, which means our end point criteria gives us that the Beltrami fu function or the Hamiltonian at x i is 0, right. From these two criteria, from these two conclusions, I can say that, uh, so this is at x i at x 0 and x 1, right. From these two conclusions, I can conclude that the joint conclusion is that the Beltrami function y square y prime square minus 1 is identically equal to 0 for all x y, right. No, for all for all x in the interval x naught to x 1, okay, which is 0 to x 1, okay. So, then all I have to do is to solve this equation that I have found. I see that y prime square is equal to 1 or y prime is equal to plus minus 1, right. Now, now we are, uh, we have to, it seems that we have two solutions, but note, uh, note the boundary conditions. So, we have that y of 0 is 1 and y of 1, y of x 1 is L which is greater than 1. So, which means, which means y is increasing, it is increasing in the interval 0 to x 1, right. So, which means, which means that we take the solution y prime is equal to 1. That is, the derivative must be positive for the solution to increase or from here I get that y is x plus a constant c uh, and also y of 0 is equal to 1. So, this c is 1 and hence I get my x t 1, ok. So, then let us look at an example of this variable endpoint problem with functions with integrands of the functionals containing multiple dependent variables. So, functions, functions with several, with several dependent variables, functions with several dependent variables. I see that I can write my functional j of q is equal to integral from t 0 to t 1 l of t comma q bar comma q bar dot d t, right, where my q bar is q 1 to q n, ok. So, what have we got? We have seen that j, j is stationary, j is stationary at q, at q, if first of all the Euler Lagrange, the system of Euler Lagrange equations are satisfied, if I have this following O d being satisfied, del L del q k dot minus partial L partial q k, well, so this is L is equal to 0 for k equal to 1 to n, right. And, and for variable endpoints, we must have that the summation, the variable endpoint condition summation p k delta q k minus h delta t. So, t is my independent variable. So, h delta t is 0 for k from 1 to n. So, that is my at end points x 0 and x 1, at end points x, well, x 0 and x 1 or in terms of free variable, independent variables t 0 and t 1, ok. Uh, let us now look at an example uh, in this class of uh, functionals. The example that I have is as follows. We want to extremize, we want to extremize uh, this integral from 0 to 1 of q 1 dot square plus q 2 dot, well q 2 dot minus 1 whole square plus q 1 square plus q 1 q 2 times d t for, for the boundary condition q at 0 is q 0. So, we have fixed one end point, but q at 1 is free. So, we have fixed the x coordinate of the boundary points, but we have kept the y coordinate, one of the y coordinate to be variable, 
Okay. So, again we, we impose the Euler Lagrange constraint, my Euler Lagrange equation for this system of uh, for this or the system of Euler Lagrange equation is as follows, I get two Euler Lagrange equations minus q 1 minus q 2 is equal to 0 and for, so this is for first component and for the second component I get 2 q 2 dot minus q 1, this is also equal to 0 and from here, from here I see that I get 4 q 2 to the power 4. So, I am, so what I am trying to do is to solve, I first eliminate one of the variables by taking the second derivative of the second equation and eliminating q 1, I get that this is 4 q 2 double dot minus q 2 is equal to 0, right. And from here I get, uh, I get a set of solutions, the solutions are q 2 of t is equal to c 1. So, we get a linear combination of exponentials solution, right, as well as a sin and cos solutions plus c 2, let me write this entire expression, sinh of a t plus c 3 cos of b t plus c 4 plus c 4 sin of b t, right, where a and b are these constants square root 2 plus minus 1 by 2 to the power 1 half, right. Now, there is no variation in the free variable t, since t 0 is 0 and t 1 is 1, it implies my delta t is 0, no variation in the free variable, right. But, so which means my end point, so this statement is implying that my end point criteria, my end point condition, my end point condition reduces to p k delta q k is equal to 0, right, for k equal to 1 and 2. So, from here all I have to do is substitute the value of q k, because delta q k is non-zero. Uh, so, this is equivalent to saying that p k is equal to 0, right. So, what is p k? p k is partial l partial q k dot. So, this partial derivative is set equal to 0 for k equal to 1 and 2. From here, these are the two conditions I get. Uh, from here, I get two equations satisfying at the boundary. So, this is at, at t equal to 1 at the other boundary which is variable, right. The first boundary is fixed. So, at the variable boundary condition, we need to differentiate, we get the two conditions. We differentiate L, L is this quantity. So, partial L partial q 1 dot is 2 q 1 dot at t equal to 1 set equal to 0 and the second one is 2 times q 2 dot minus 1, this is at t equal to 1 set equal to 0, right. So, these are my two conditions and now I am left, so notice that my q 2 from here I can always find q 1 of t, but note I have from here in this description, I have four constants c 1, c 2, c 3 and c 4, but I have two end point condition and I also have two boundary condition, which will fully determine these constants, these constants which are four unknowns of the problem. So, I am not going to mention the value of these c i's and leave the problem for the students to find out, uh, find out the value of these constants. Pro, uh, in terms of q naught bar here, this one, okay.